Hi, hello. Uh, I'm really happy to, to have you here. Uh, this is my first uh, live from the series Investing Secrets. Uh, my name is Martin and I'm gonna have a um, live with you. Uh, I hope it's gonna be interesting for you. Uh, but let's start. Uh, so, um, as, uh, as I told you, my, uh, my name is Martin and uh, I'm a lawyer. Uh, I work in a real estate business for over uh, 13 years. Uh, I'm in love, uh, I can say, with the crypto markets, uh, as, uh, as well as uh, I'm in love in a w with the real estate uh, business. Uh, I work as a realtor, uh, as a wealth appraiser. Uh, I'm also, uh, I, I do have a so-called PhD in, um, in, in commercial real estate uh, called, uh, called the CCIM. Uh, I work as a lecturer at, uh, at the high, um, at the, v uh, at the uh, WSB University in Poznan. It's a university related with uh, finance and uh, real estate. I do lectures there uh, in appraisal and uh, real estate market to, to tell my students uh, how it works in real estate. What do, do they have to know to start their work with in real estate and um, um, what is really crucial in that kind of business. I'm also a, a, a founder and a originator of, uh, of a company called Lewandowski Gongse. Uh, because I'm uh, related with um, uh, with the Chinese market, uh, I'm trying to to connect uh, two different uh, words. I mean, the, uh, let's say European word and um, and a word uh, related with the Chinese uh, business side. Uh, as you can see, I'm I'm fluent in uh, in English and uh, and French as well in uh, Chinese. So. Uh, I can say uh, Ni hao for all my uh, Chinese listeners uh, and of course uh, for the rest of you uh, to, to speak uh, in English in, in later parts. So guys, uh, what, uh, what is the purpose of this uh, life? Uh, I would like to, mm, to share with you about uh, my knowledge related with uh, three different parts. The first part is going to be related with, uh, uh, with the properties, with real estate market uh, in comparison to uh, precious metals and cryptocurrencies. Uh, these are the three, mm, let's say, most crucial way of investment that I would recommend you to. Uh, at the moment, I, I think this is, this is really important to see the difference between uh, those uh, three markets um, just to be aware uh, what you should do. Uh, I, of course, I cannot tell you what, what is the best way of investment because uh, this is not the, uh, I'm not a, you know, that a kind of wizard or, or a person that, that is 100% uh, sure. I can show you the, uh, the advantages and disadvantages of that kind of investing and in investing in uh, property uh, and investing in precious metals and of course the uh, the cryptocurrency uh, but before we start um, i think this this life should last like a, an hour and a, an hour and a, maybe 10 15 minutes after it you will have a, an opportunity to uh, to answer uh, to to give me some questions i try to answer them uh, via uh, chat that you have uh, in, in this application so I will not be available uh, on, on video so please if you will have any questions please leave it on the chat and I'll, st I'll try to answer them as quick po as possible if you uh, would like to you can you can also leave your email uh, or contact me directly you will have that kind of opportunity at the end of this life I will leave you my, my personal data and you'll be able to, to ask me anything you, you would like to relate it with the uh, secret of investing uh, subject okay guys so uh, if we would like to 
to speak about investing, you would have to always remember that investing is risk. Uh, there are no, um, no ways of investing without any risk. If somebody will tell you there's no risk in that kind of investment, you don't need to worry about anything. It's profib f profitable. It's uh, really no danger of any risk. It's not true. Don't believe that kind of person because um, it's not investing. It's just selling dreams. And uh, dreams are, uh, I would say, rarely profitable. As you can see, uh, Mr. Robert Arno uh, said one thing that is really crucial in investing. Everything that is convenient is rarely profitable. You would, ho you would have to always remember that uh, investing is always risk. Investing is always uh, do or don'ts. Uh, investing is always uh, lots of question you would have to answer. To do it, not to do it, maybe late, uh, maybe late for some change, maybe uh, go in uh, any kind of position. Nobody knows the right point, the right market, the dips and dumps. This is this is normal in any kind of uh, any kind of uh, business. It's it's also related with the thing that you can see on the on the second sentence uh, that uh, many of you would say, or, or maybe many of you would would have already say that this time it's gonna be different. Uh, this this time I'm, I'm gonna earn a lot of money. Uh, this time uh, I'm gonna be profitable. Uh, this time I'm gonna do it my way. I don't want to see uh, how the real market work works. Uh, I would like to do it my way. This is often uh, often many of you would would do that, and uh, it's not the best way to invest your money. You would ho you would always have to be prepared uh, for risk for uh, for that that you may lose mm, your wealth your your funds anything that yet that you're investing it's also related with the time so uh, be aware what you see what you read wha who are you watching via youtube or any kind of uh, internet uh, broad broadcast uh, platform because it always lasts it always takes you time and time it's not unlimited every and each of us uh, would have limited uh, time so it's really crucial to to look or to watch i would say uh, really worthy worthy videos or worthy presentations just to be aware mm, what you should do if you'd like to invest your own money I also believe that uh, um, it's also a mm, good idea what, what Mr. Trump said that uh, sometimes the best investment is the one you have never, never done, the one that never happened. Uh, it's, it's really, it's really uh, I believe it really deeply that um, sometimes no position it's always a, it's, it's a position. So if you're not investing your money, if you're not um, buying or selling, you always, you also do something. You keep your position. You're, you're not getting richer, but you're not also getting poorer. So these three sentences are going to be with us for all that, that life that I would like to, to present you uh, today. Uh, and I hope you're gonna you're gonna like you're gonna like it. If yes, I can say uh, that I'm inviting you for my uh, second life. Uh, my second life is gonna be about uh, cryptocurrency. Uh, you have left your uh, your email address, so I will I will uh, send you some invitation for my second life. Feel free to to join uh, my second life. I hope uh, I hope it's gonna be uh, as as uh, the one I'm gonna I'm, I'm presenting my right now so before we start I would like to show you uh, the 
um, US dollar. US dollar, the let's say major currency, uh, worldwide currency, and um, what is uh, what is the US dollar purchasing power? As you can see, uh, if we will stay uh, at um, at the level of uh, of a hundred dollar in 1913, today we can say the um, that kind of uh, uh, valuation it's, it's almost it's it's no incomparable the US dollar in uh, in 1913 and right now it's like almost 99% lower of purchasing power than right now many of you may ask why US dollar is really really strong uh, you can buy lots of things for for US dollar, but as you can see, uh, you can see the major recess recession periods on that kind of uh, scheme that you that you can see right now. Have a look. It's for example, uh, Fed was created in in two in 1913. Uh, the Bretton Woods Agreement, so the basics of and uh, basics of um, I would say um, the nowadays dollar were created in more or less 1944 so hundred dollars in 1913 and hundred dollars in 1944 it's almost a half in 1944 it's, it's more or less sixty dollars in comparison to hundred dollars in 1913 you can also see of course um, uh, let, let's say um, the crises that, that were um, in the 70s like oil crisis, second oil crisis, of course uh, dot-com bubble, uh, uh, maybe uh, some, some of you remember that, that time when the uh, dot-com uh, uh, bubble exploded. Of course we also can see the, uh, the Mr. Trump tax cuts, but as you can see um, after I would say 2010, US dollar is worth less than one dollar per hundred dollars in comparison to uh, to the uh, 1913 er era uh, when it was worth worth approximately hundred dollars. What does it mean for you that the uh, per se p p purchasing power is decreasing? It means that um, mm, you n you're not earning more than you were in 2010, 2000 or 1919 uh, because all that, that time you can buy the same amount of basic, basic values. Basic value is for me, uh, for example, gold uh, in comparison. Uh, gold in 1913 were on the level uh, like uh, 20 dollars per uh, uh, per uh, ounce and uh, mm, right now uh, gold is approximately uh, two thousand dollar per, per one unit so uh, and um, the difference is really huge you cannot say that this is the same the same price of course you can see it's al almost 100 times more than it was in 1913 but gold is showing the real purchasing power of a currency so we can say that dollar is a hundred times more less uh, cheaper or it has uh, less uh, hundred times less purchasing power in comparison to 19 13 so everything it's it's crossed uh, like a 50 or maybe 100 times more for example uh, a bread in the United States in 2000 uh, in, in, in 1913 it was like less than five cents right now it's it's more than two 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 dollars two dollars and a half so this is the same amount of money uh, the same amount of money that was in 1913 and right now but the numbers has changed dramatically it has changed 
from 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 uh, from as as you can heard from a level like a couple cents to to couple dollars it's a huge difference so guys uh, today I'm, I would like to present you um, uh, let's say four different parts the first part real estate uh, it's really close to me because uh, as, as I told you I work as a, a realtor I work as a, a real estate a agent uh, a property a a appraisal so uh, and for a couple of years so I, I think I know quite much about that kind of market uh, later we're gonna discuss about uh, precious metals like gold, silver, palladine and platinum uh, and at the end we're gonna discuss about cryptocurrencies and the future of let's say uh, market, uh, markets and, and cryptocurrency and at the end we're gonna have a, a Q&A where you, we can discuss the matter that, that you're interested in related with the two days live uh, I hope it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, interesting so let's let's go to the to the real estate so um, real estate um, it's um, um, what we can say about the real estate I'm 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 quite sure that uh, that kind of market it's uh, it's gonna be always with you uh, because you 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 when you come to to that planet you you are, you are uh, getting born uh, you're gonna you're gonna be, have a home you're gonna have a house where you, where you live in and where you when you stay for for your let's say at life so I, I'm quite sure that most of you are aware about uh, about the uh, real estate so you we do know where is the value in real estate we do know that there are only three things that are important in states so uh, location location and uh, location uh, we do know that uh, if you would like to uh, buy uh, buy real estate we would have to uh, we would have to have uh, more money that that we used to earn each month or e each year and um, that we gonna um, that we we gonna probably need to wait some time uh, for um, for the um, for the change of uh, value. So I want to tie w tym um, jest błąd w prezentacji. Ja tu zaraz zadzwonię do Michała, bo są polskie znaki, a potem ciężko będzie to podmienić. Michał, wiesz co, ale podesłałeś mi tą starą wersję, gdzie są polskie jeszcze litery. No i wiesz, widzę duża kapitałochłonność, a potem wiesz, podmienić to, e, nie wiem, czy to się nie spierdoli i tak. Mm, wiesz, to tło, nie? Bo, bo za każdym razem muszę to włączać niestety od początku. No i b***ć mi jeszcze raz. OK? So uh, as I told you, um, with the real estate mar market, you're, I think you're familiar with that. So you know it's it's stability, it's uh, it's also uh, physical complexity, uh, it's rarity, uh, because you cannot, in an easy way, uh, add uh, uh, add new. Uh, new property and you new you can build your uh, an apartment a, a home uh, but uh, it's not that easy to uh, to create new uh, new plots it's it's impossible and the number of plots is uh, it's definitely uh, at, it's it's uh, it's on the same level so you cannot use new plots uh, as I, and, and uh, as i told you three things matter location 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 um, so 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 if you'd like to buy your own property especially for uh, uh, investing investing purpose you would have to always remember that good location it's always uh, with a good price 
the risk of uh, of investing in that kind of uh, asset it's i would say lower than investing in uh, in uh, in um uh, in um in an asset that is in a uh, not so good location but um, investing in property it's also risk if you compare a uh, property uh, property market in uh, 2008 2009 in the US you would see that the cost of uh, this market was really huge uh, it was that kind of market that was growing for over 20 years and the whole generation forget about one thing that it's impossible to go only up that it's impossible that the value would only be increasing every year every month and it's not gonna go down so uh, always remember uh, mm, real estate market it's changing like every market it it has uh, it has its downs it has uh, it it change it changes i would say every day but uh, that kind of change it's not that not that fast you were you will see that uh, um the when the, the the market is changing i mean the economic market is changing changing the prices of property are not going that fast down uh, they they need to to wait some time couple months sometimes it's couple years because i would compare the real estate market for the for the uh, high speed train uh, high speed train it's really really fast but if we uh, if we would uh, press a brake it will not stop in an instant it would have to uh, to roll on for another 100 meters uh, some maybe a couple of kilo kilometers uh, to completely stop or to to have a uh, to have a reverse brake so be aware be aware about that that uh, in the real estate market it's really a market that if uh, something bad is happening in uh, in that market it would not be it would not be um, uh, that fast that you that you can i don't know uh, buy good real estate uh, after a, a huge crisis uh, in a month or two it would prob probably take like a couple of couple or maybe a year to to see that change in real estate real estate market I would say as a person related with uh, with that kind of market investing in real estate it's a uh, it's a good idea uh, many of the wealth worldwide started from the real estate so it has to has uh, something uh, in it i believe that uh, it's a it's a it's a really important part of your portfolio of your investing investing portfolio to uh, to invest in real estate to be aware what kind of value is in real estate starting from residential real estate commercial real estate and also uh, and also let's say uh, investing in plots lots and that kind of that kind of uh, stuff um, um, I would say that uh, property market has only one one or maybe a couple of uh, disadvantages uh, the major one is uh, i would say mm, uh, low liquidity uh, because it's it's really not easy to escape from that market if you are al already in you would have to probably hire a real estate agent uh, and and real a realtor that would have to uh, try help you to sell your property uh, to to find a good uh, buyer and a fair market price uh, and sometimes it will last it will last a couple of weeks if you would be lucky it would last uh, i would say a couple months or maybe even more uh, if the market will be will be difficult uh, i'm i'm quite sure that uh, if you want to get in a real estate micro market and or you would like to get out it's always important to um, to uh, 
to know a right person, to know a good uh, real estate agent, to know the person that would have to have to help you with uh, all the paperwork you would have to do, um, uh, that would help you with the good uh, um, advertising stuff and in, in, in internet to find as many potential buyers as possible. Uh, so um, um, just for, for, the, for the end of uh, that panel, I would say that um, mm, real estate market is it's really stable. It's, uh, it has really huge history, um, a period of time that uh, you can invest in real estate. It's, it's quite long. Um, but I'm not saying it's, it's going to be the only investment you would do in your life. There, there are, of course, a uh, real estate uh, uh, person that would say, I would invest only in real estate. I, I don't care about precious, precious metals or, or cryptocurrency. I, I, I believe as a, real, as a real estate person, as a realtor, as an as a, uh, investor, that is not a good way. You would always have to diversify all your portfolio. You would, if you would like to be prepared for up and downs, if you would like to be prepared for unstable uh, political, uh, uh, geopolitical or uh, financial situation, it's good to have as many different, different assets as, pos uh, as possible. Because as you can see, Alexis de Tocqueville has already said that there are no, there are no cruelty and wickedness that a mild and liberal government would do if they would be run of their their own money there there's no government money this is our money but as you know many of countries right now are, are printing uh, new money are printing money that that it's not related in any kind of hard asset are printing money that it's only money it's only piece of paper there are no internal uh, value in, in that kind of asset, asset. I don't know if you know that uh, all the, um, uh, let's say, major, major currencies, typical currencies like, uh, like um, uh, Euro, USD, or, or for, say, for, for example, Chinese Yuan, uh, they do not have any inner value like, I don't know, U.S. dollar w w uh, has had uh, inner value related with the um, gold market because it has to uh, be um, in a kind of um, in a kind of relation it's, uh, to the to the gold market. Right, right now, it's only an agreement between me and you, between the societies, that a hundred of U.S. dollars are wor worth a hundred U.S. dollars. Like I said in the beginning the purchase purchase power of us dollar is decreasing all all time uh, all the time uh, you would have to be aware that it's gonna continue so your possibility in buying any kind of asset in us dollar will be decreasing and the same the same thing is with the with the inflation uh, we're saying that the global inflation is like a uh, uh, one person and a half but I would say that the secret secret uh, world inflation is like a four maybe five percent because the governments don't want to tell you what is the real number uh, United States of America uh, all the time they changing the m methods that they're gathering to show what, 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 what is the, the real inflation they're taking out uh, basic stuff like uh, buying a, I don't know thing in grocery from the inflation market. So if you'd like to compare the inflation from let's say 2010 and the 1980s or 70s, uh, but it's completely different inflation. It has no it has no uh, comparison to uh, to to that kind of.
inflation. Okay, guys, so um, uh, we're going to be uh, in a moment finishing the um, real estate uh, market, uh, real estate market uh, part. For the end, uh, mm, I would like to, to, to mention you uh, the, the sentence that Charles McKay said. Uh, uh, I try to, to, to do it as well as possible. Mm, that uh, people are getting mad in hurts and they're recovering their senses really slowly one by one what in what it means for you as a as an investor i would say that um, a, a period of time that you would probably have to get out uh, from a market that you are already in it's a time where everybody's speaking about that it's a time when uh, when if you go to the shop um, buy some grocery i don't know if you go for for to the restaurant and you're gonna have a, a meal and the waiter or a salesperson is saying you have you bought already your third real estate investing apartment because i'm gonna do so it's a it's a signal i have to get out I have to I have to be aware to quit that market to take out my money and to wait what would happen it's it's always the same when the when the uh, crowds are investing in, in a kind of market like like real estate like uh, precious metal uh, market or maybe in a cryptocurrency market you would have to always be aware uh, that they're gonna be a kind of uh, a kind of uh, uh, way down, a kind of uh, correction, because it always works like that. If some things go up, it has to go down. It's not constant, constant up and constant down. So that kind of knowledge would help you to um, would help you to uh, understand how the markets work. Okay, uh, we're gonna start the, the, the second part related with the uh, precious metals. The first precious metals we're gonna discuss it's gold. Gold, as you can see, it's a quite stable, quite stable uh, metal, quite stable asset. As you can see, starting from uh, from um, starting from uh, July 2017 eight ending and uh, july 2020 uh, the price of gold went went up uh, but if you would see last uh, uh, last period like uh, july 2017 july 2019 the price were, were uh, was like between uh, 1000 to um, uh, 2000 1, 1200 oz uh, per US dollar to uh, 1400 OZ per US dollar so it, it was quite stable I would say that the difference was like uh, um, not more than 10 20 percent as you can see uh, on the on the on the presentation on March uh, 2020 something happened the S&P uh, stock market went down quite fast uh, I, I think most of you know what happened. It's, it's of course, the uh, coronavirus pandemic and uh, and um, uh, panic sell on S and P market. And after it, we have seen a huge way up. Uh, there was a period in in um, in vacations uh, 2020 when the price per ounce of for of gold went. 2000 US dollars per OZ it's really much but but if you would like to invest in in gold you would have to be aware that uh, gold is not a way of investing to um, to dupli dupli uh, to duplicate your mm, your wealth gold is only mm, gold is only uh, a way to to transform today's wealth to the future one so 
it's not a good idea to sell w gold if it's gonna be uh, above two thousand dollar in my opinion it's just the beginning of really huge uh, uh, rail rally of gold up uh, because gold is really stable if we would say uh, about gold you would have to always remember we need to buy gold that is physical that uh, do have a certificate that we're gonna have in our home in our uh, safe deposit i'm not a fan i don't do not recommend you to uh, invest in um, in uh, paper gold paper it means that you do have a option to get your physical gold if you would like to uh, paper gold is 900 times more uh, and it's 900 times more um, maybe in a different way paper gold it's uh, um, it's 900 times um, more uh, it has more uh, let's say ounces than the real physical physical uh, ounces of gold uh, so mm, it's really huge difference if we speak about the 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 um, how big is the gold gold market so i would look on the gold and gold market as a way of uh, transform the uh, of two two days value of your of your portfolio to the future value actually it's the same money uh, the the uh, the amount of uh, of uh, of your portfolio in march 2020 when it was uh, related with one ounce of gold it's uh, 1000 let's say more or less 400 500 usdt uh, us usd uh, um, uh, per ounce and right now the same amount of money it's it's worth like uh, 1800 1000 1900 per ounce as a younger brother of uh, of a gold i would recommend you to to look at uh, the silver silver um mostly uh, being being mined in uh, mexico peru and china uh, it has i would see i would say really huge potential of increasing uh, huge potential potential of going up much more much more than the gold market why because um, on the second second uh, second uh, screen you will see that uh, silver prices are really low in comparison to uh, in comparison to um, to the prices of uh, of uh, for example um, uh, gold if you'd like to invest the same amount of money in gold and uh, and uh, silver as you can see uh, we can um, buy almost 100 times more silver than uh, than gold uh, why i'm a, i'm a fan of silver i think silver uh, has a huge potential for going up i don't know if you know that uh, 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 if you would like to 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 ore uh, silver to produce silver it costs not less than 21 dollars uh, so th these are the the price you would have to pay to to have a, a, a zero income so right now uh, silver is a little bit above 20 21 20 us dollars so the potential of going up it's really high in my opinion so it's good to to invest some kind of some part of money uh, in um, in silver just to be aware uh, what would happen what would happen because probably silver is gonna be uh, up uh, and gold of course also is gonna be uh, gonna be going uh, really really fast uh, up because investors worldwide are looking for uh, safe haven are looking for a good place to uh, keep their money to to have a good uh, to have a good uh, defense system for the inflation uh, to 
to diversify their portfolio. It's all, it's, it's all the time important to be aware what kind of asset you do have. If it's risky, uh, what kind of risk you would have to be aware and uh, what is the potential of that market. And the classic markets like, uh, like real estate and, and precious metals, these are the old markets. I, I am quite sure that mo most of you are aware of uh, how it works. Uh, if uh, I hope that my knowledge is it's, it's, it's important for you and you will uh, get to know something that, that you don't already know. Uh, but always be aware, diversify. Uh, managing managing your risk it's important in in um, in, um, in uh, any kind of investing so uh, getting getting to the to the next uh, next part um, I would like to also inform you and to to tell you something about the palette and platinum uh, silver metals that are also quite interesting in my opinion as a way of uh, investing. Why? Uh, because they're not that famous like uh, gold and, and platinum, uh, gold and, sorry, and, and silver. Um, they are rather rare. Gold is also rare, silver is rare, but the pallet and the platinum, in my opinion, are more rare than, than those two that I have already mentioned. Uh, you can also buy uh, pallet and platinum uh, in ounces. Uh, most of the most of the uh, most of those ores are uh, into um, into the production business. They are being used as a as a part of uh, car business, especially in catalysts. Uh, so, mm, uh, but you can always also buy investing gold, investing pallets, sorry, and, 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 and platinum as a part of your, your precious metal portfolio. Uh, so just to, to let you know that uh, you do have a, a possibility to buy that kind of, uh, that kind of uh, ores. Um, and the last part I would like you to, mm, to, to mention, to, to give you some uh, basic knowledge, is a part really interesting especially right now these are the cryptocurrencies crypt related uh, really really strong with the cryptographic encryption uh, what is the cryptocurrency uh, uh, i told you i'm a lawyer i'm a real estate person i was a, a big fan of uh, of a, of a real estate market uh, I'm, 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 I'm of course i'm still a big fan of uh, of uh, investing in real estate and and uh, and of course uh, in the precious metals, and a friend of mine one time, more than three years ago, told me, cryptocurrency is the future is the future money, cryptocurrency, is a digital 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 gold. I was quite uh, skeptic about the, his idea. But uh, while I dip in that kind of market and uh, uh, become, uh, for example, a, an, a Binance Angel uh, for, uh, for Poland region and, uh, and a person mm, that would like to inform as many people as possible about the cryptocurrency market, I real realized that um, cryptocurrency has its inner value. Why? Uh, mm, just to start, uh, uh, cryptocurrency cannot be copied. It cannot be destroyed because it's digital. Uh, some of uh, some of the investors are saying it's uh, digital money. It's um, in comparison to real estate market, that kind of. Uh, digitality it's uh, it's a huge huge advantage mm, uh, digital form um, gives you an opportunity to transfer uh, your asset from place from one place to another uh, instantly um, 
if we would add that cryptocurrency it's uh, it's based on decentralized computer network it has no boundaries uh, no borders no any kind of uh, institution governments or a person that is in charge of whole markets in my opinion cryptocurrency it's freedom it's freedom of transferring money it's freedom of keeping your money in in your wallet you can you can be your own bank uh, having your cryptocurrency in um, so-called cold wallet when you keep your 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 cryptocurrency inside and of course the most important thing it's safety safety a uh, cryptocurrency cannot cannot be hacked nobody can can um, um, access your wallet if you would if you would use a, um, a good encryption and be aware of the the risk that that always in any kind of market uh, but what is crucial for me i think um and the cryptocurrency market and um, bitcoin market the biggest cryptocurrency uh, in, in in the cryptocurrency world um the future of that kind of uh, asset is like that that it's just the beginning cryptocurrency cryptocurrencies are like the internet uh, uh, internet in the 90s uh, many of you uh, were using internet in the 90s maybe you were sending emails you were trying to 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 think what for what for is the internet uh, internet ba internet network uh, right now uh, during the the coronavirus time during the pandemic time we cannot even think how how it would might look if there would not be internet i would say that it would not be possible to speak with you guys right now if we will not have internet the knowledge transfer would be completely different the um, making business would be completely different investing would be completely different why am i saying that i'm quite sure that uh, quit cryptocurrency's future is a future of uh, transferring money it's a future of uh, keeping your wealth safety it's a future for your freedom uh, the central authority uh, that it's in uh, fiat money so the money that are based on on uh, on uh, that that are being produced uh, by governments and the fee in the in the uh, cryptocurrency world there's no central central place central agenda central uh, i don't know person that it's uh, i don't know uh, trying to control people by printing money the amount of bitcoin bitcoin is limited 21 million of bitcoins uh, we will have because it's written in a in a bitcoin code uh, right, right now 90 percent of bitcoins uh, has been already made made i i mean it was mined if you are interested interested how uh, bitcoins are being produced please join me on the second life i'm gonna have the second life is gonna be uh, re related 100 uh, percent for um, uh, for the cryptocurrency uh, how to how to make a cryptocurrency how to earn on cryptocurrency and uh, how to invest in cryptocurrency so keep in well, let's keep in touch I do have your email address when you uh, have um, uh, registered on my life so I'm gonna inform you from uh, about my second life please join if you if you would like to but getting back to crypto and fiat uh, comparison as you can see the supply of cryptocurrency is limited unlikely to fiat that is completely unlimited the uh, u.s federal reserve already told 
that they gonna print as much money as possible does there no it's there, there, there that there is no roof of printing money they would do it they would do it till the end of the, their possibilities for the for the supply they do have a inflation inflation target they need to obtain it's 2.5 percent per year so the inflation in the states is really low so they will print a lot a lot a lot of money and um, i don't know if you are aware that the united states have uh, printed this m more money that they had had print for their 200 years of of uh, nationality of u.s nationality so this is the this is the mm, major issue worldwide every and each government right now is printing money uh, to 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 mm, to do something rel uh, related with the economy uh, post coronavirus uh, i don't think it's a good way of uh, fighting the the crisis because one thing it's certain inflation huge inflation uh the answer to that kind of process in my opinion is cryptocurrency bitcoin in march 2020 was priced like four thousand us dollars per per one bitcoin uh, in uh, november december 2020 bitcoin was uh, was priced like 19 19 and a half thousand US dollars for one Bitcoin so almost five times more for one e in one year for the price of Bitcoin it shows us that um, uh, the real purchasing power of money is getting really 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 low and it's getting really fast it's getting really fast um, because there are really a lot of new almost almost uh, printed away from the uh, government printer money uh, Bitcoin is also uh, and the crypto cryptocurrency is also fast and cheap transfer if you if you do have a relative abroad or a person that is living in a, a different part of world you d you do know that uh, transferring money it's rather expensive you can use a paypal or or bank wire but but always it's always a rather a big amount of money to transfer the um, uh, transferring money by cryptocurrency it's uh, it's safe it's stable and it's cheap 1.2 billion us dollars in cryptocurrency in Bitcoin were transferred for less than two dollar for that kind of amount it's affordable it's cheap it's fast it's reliable and it's safe this is this is uh, this is crucial the last but not least it's it it's it uh, cryptocurrency non physical non physical uh, shape uh, mm, as far as you know uh, maybe you've heard that um, uh, governments worldwide are working on uh, digital money for example China will uh, deploy its its own UN uh, as a crit uh, as a digital UN it's called CDBC in two years in two years China would uh, you would uh, um, would say that it's over for the physical money you cannot pay for anything in physical money I'm quite uh, quite sure that that kind of model will uh, will be worldwide I'm quite sure that the uh, Western civilizations uh, um, for example in U EU or uh, in, in, in Americas would say we would like to be next we don't want we would like to get rid of physical money it's not good for us because we cannot control it we would like to know everything about 
our society. Cryptocurrency, cryptocurrencies are not in that business, are not in that market. Uh, it's not easy to track cryptocurrency transactions. It's not that easy like in traditional uh, financial market. Be aware, be aware of that, that uh, uh, as I told you, cryptocurrency is future. So, um, 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 the, let's say that um, at the end of uh, at the end of um, um, the, the 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 matters I would like to discuss with you, uh, I would like to share with you my point of view about the uh, new world order based on blockchain, because, like I told you, blockchain is future because of its uh, really really. Really, really interesting innovation. For example, logistics based on blockchain technology. It's um, it's really, really trackable. It's really, really easy to know where is your stuff that you are selling, and you would like to know if it's gonna be for the for the person that uh, that have uh, bought it, and would like to know when she or he will obtain that. It's also important for all the governmental system and public administration because all the money that are that our governments giving to the people would be trackable, would be uh, would be uh, it would, would be really easy to know uh, what is the purpose of those money when they, they are on, on the people's wallet if they are spending in, in the right right way democracy uh, and the political systems probably would also change because of the blockchain because some governments already are working for use blockchain for voting for for be sure that the voting process was legal for be sure that the voting process is uh, is countable for be sure that uh, there were no mm, no um, mm, things that would say that it was illegal that uh, some persons uh, were uh, voting twice or anything like that because blockchain is certainty it's a uh, it's um, um, it's g it's give you an, an opportunity that uh, the the result it's it's true the result it's not fake um so so i am I'm, I'm quite sure that um, maybe even uh, next voting uh, in in the states or or any anything uh, or any anywhere else would be based on blockchain technology uh, also um people like artists uh, would be a great benefiters from the blockchain technology why because they would earn though uh, their own money um, directly to their account instantly a blockchain is really fast it's really cheap if uh, somebody would be listening uh, a piece of music in I don't know China United States or any kind of uh, country in Europe the artist whatever he would be would obtain his tantiums right away, instantly. So the uh, copyrights would be completely different than it is right now. And the last but not least uh, thing, it's uh, EOT, so Internet of Things. So uh, saying that everything would be related, everything would be connected. Um, uh, so, so EOT, including the big data, would change our life completely, especially for the dying professions like uh, lawyers, social trust professions or bankers. Their work would be completely different, especially for the social trust professions. Why? Blockchain is giving us a, an opportunity to, to be mm, sure that something happened 
something uh, mm, that nobody can control and uh, there would not be a need of approval an approval to to be sure that any action happened uh, if you'd like to kn know more about that that kind of um, uh, thing please join me on my second life about the cryptocurrency where where i would say you more about um, um, about smart contracts about um, about uh, social lending where that kind of technolo technology uh, already works and it's really really efficient so uh, guys uh, eot um, uh, blockchain technology uh, ai artificial 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 ai artificial uh, intelligence is growing it would take a lot of faculties professions away uh, a lot of faculties of professions would look completely different than right now uh, our uh, mm, what mm, our way of work would be different lots of you are i'm quite aware uh, uh, works right now remotely uh, in uh, i don't know a couple months uh, uh, before uh, you would you would not think that it is possible or maybe you you have uh, thought it is possible but your employer your clients were saying no we would like to meet you face to face right now it's changing and it's just the beginning so um, um getting to the uh, summary um, what i would like to to say uh, investing is risky but uh, it doesn't mean that uh, we would have to keep our cash in a wallet and and wait this is the wor worst way to um, uh, to uh, it's the worst way of investing based th based uh, basic things so basic thing of investing it's knowledge like benjamin franklin if you will have a knowledge you would know what to do how to invest and of course you would have to always be patient like paul samuelson investing is like a it's like painting painting dry or watching grass grow if you want excitement and you want to be formal so fear of missing out go ahead do it but it's not investing so if you will prepare your portfolio on different assets for example assets like real estate assets like precious metals assets like cryptocurrency you can be sure that you are well prepared that you are well prepared for whatever happened in this world I know that i i don't have a uh, i don't have a magic wand to to see the future and to to know what would happen so splitting your investment in uh, basing investments like uh, real estate and precious metals and new kind of investments like cryptocurrency cryptocurrencies with us for for only 10 years it it's give you a freedom of a, of a choice if it it's give you a freedom of um of uh, um that you can you can sleep well d during night time because uh, diversify your portfolio i think this is the the major thing every and each of you would have to would have to do um i think it's quite everything i would like to say you for the for the for the life that i i have prepared for for today uh right now we're going to be uh, getting to to q and a uh, i'll try to answer as many questions uh, as possible so please leave them on the on the chat that that you do have uh, in the in the application um if you would like to ask me personally go ahead i will leave my um my contact data here uh, my cell phone and my uh, e email and telegram address feel free to ask me i'm i'm, I'm there maybe not all the time but almost all the time 
uh, I think um, investing secrets it's it's just the beginning of uh, our journey to to safe investment uh, the second part like I told you it's gonna be about cryptocurrency if you do like my life please uh, uh, tell your tell, tell your uh, family tell your uh, colleagues that there's a person that that is trying to to compare those markets um, uh, to one another and to to give you the um, the new fresh look for the market of future the market of cryptocurrencies that is growing really really fast and in my opinion it's gonna be really in really interesting in the uh, close future and a and, uh, and, uh, distant future so if you will have a knowledge if you will have a, a ability to take risk uh, not to be afraid I think you'll be successful if you will split your portfolio for those three different markets uh, knowing about the risk of every and each of them thank you guys for listening uh, I hope you enjoy my first life here. I hope you're gonna join me for my uh, further lives. Uh, I wish you all the best and let's stay in touch. Thank you so much. Bye bye.